So I'm starting off with a size 12 round brush and before we start painting any leaves, I'm going to mix up a range of greens because the green in my tray is really, really, really bright and I want to change it up to mix a few different shades that are a little more natural looking. So I want to mix three variations of green, which means I'm going to decant three, um, I'm going to decant some green paint into three trays in my mixing palette. So you can see that I'm doing that here, grabbing the green paint on the end of my brush, getting heaps of it on there, and then uh, just swiping the brush on the side of the little dish to get the paint out of it. So that's how I'm transporting the paint. <laughs> Uh, so in this first tray here on the left, I'm going to add some blue so that I can mix up a dark green. And you'll see that I'm using my cool colors jar to do all of this as well. All right, so adding a little bit of blue, I'm just gonna test it out first to make sure I've got the right color. Adding a bit of blue to the left hand dish and looking at the color I've mixed, a lovely, cool dark green which is perfect and now I'm going to mix a warm green so more of a brownish kind of green by adding some red to that base green that I put in the second tray and I'm mixing around and I'm gonna check and I actually didn't add enough red so I'm adding a little more red to warm it up some more usually I add too much red and this time I've underdone it that looks a bit better, just adding a touch more, mixing that in and I'll check it one more time. And that's perfect, a lovely warm green, which would be perfect for a gum leaf or something like that. And I'm going to actually mix another cool green that's going to be, oh, I've added too much blue. <laughs> so I'm adding blue to this one and now adding some more green back in. So I'm trying to mix kind of a turquoise sort of color. It's really more blue than it is green and that looks awesome. So I'll move my paints out of the way and I want to show you how these greens actually look on the watercolor paper. So I'm going to test them all out on the page just so you can see what they really look like. So here's my dark cool green. I'm making sure I wash my brush in between each one. Here's my warm green and here's my, it's basically blue. Here's my blue green, pretty much just blue. So you can see they look really vibrant and lovely and they all look completely different even though I started with the same green and I just added a few different colors. All right, so now we'll paint some leaves. I'm going to use my size four brush and I'm going to grab some of the dark green that I mixed earlier from the left-hand side. So I grab it on my brush and what I'm going to do is create a leaf using the C curves technique that we learned in my brush strokes video. If you haven't watched that already, go back and watch it and it will make this much easier and simpler. So these C curves, so basically just the letter C, are a bit smushed looking so they're not as round as a regular letter C and I'm doing a compound stroke here so at the start I'm doing I'm using just the tip of the brush and then in the middle of the C I'm pushing down and using the belly of the brush and then at the end I'm lifting it back up just using the tip of the brush again so tip of the brush belly of the brush tip of the brush tip of the brush belly of the brush, tip of the brush. And you'll see that the tip of this leaf isn't particularly pointed. So if you're having trouble a bit like that, a bit like mine, um, and struggling to get the tip of the leaf to be a really lovely point, firstly, it doesn't matter if that's the case, but if you really do want the um, tip of the leaf to be pointed, try slowing down the process of lifting up at the end of your C curves. And also if there's a gap between your two C curves, so there's a white line up the middle of the leaf, that's awesome. You've just painted a highlight using white space. So don't stress if that happens too. Now I'm using my warm green 
to paint some leaves with just a single brush stroke. So it's that same process of using the tip of the brush, pushing down with the belly of the brush, and then lifting back up to use the tip of the brush again. But instead of sort of making it curve to be like a C, it's just going in a straight line. And I'm varying it by doing longer brush strokes and shorter brush strokes, and I am kind of curving this one. So you can see that you can create a variety of leaves just by using this same technique in slightly different ways, varying the length or the angle or that kind of thing. So now I'm moving up to use my large brush and that really lovely blue green that I mixed earlier. And I'm going to repeat the same process, but just with a bigger brush. So this single brush stroke leaf, but on a larger scale. And I'll do it a couple of times for you. And you'll see that I slowly lift the brush up to create the tip of that leaf. I'm going to do this again, but with the C curve technique as well for you. So you can see it's the same stuff we've done already, but just with a bigger brush. And that creates a different technique again. So I forgot to do the C curve and I'm gonna do the C curve version now. So you'll see I'm doing the C curve on one side and another C curve mirroring that one. And I'm just adding in a tip on that leaf because I lifted up my brush a little too quickly. So I'll do another C curve leaf, one C curve, and then another one mirroring that. And you'll see what a variety you can create just by changing up the technique slightly and changing the size of your brush and also the color. Okay, now we're going to put all of these leaves into practice and paint a stem of leaves. To begin with, we're just going to use the tip of the brush, the size 4 brush, to create a long, thin, curved line. And then we'll pop a C curve leaf at the end of that stem. And then I'm going to work my day, my, work my day, work my way down the stem with these C curve leaves. So I'm going to put them sort of spaced apart fairly evenly on the left hand side of this stem occasionally dabbing in a little more paint into the middle of the leaf if I want to add a bit more variety and depth and that kind of thing. And I'm just going to continue this process the whole way down the stem. And then I'm going to flip over to the other side or jump over to the other side of the stem and do the same thing on the other side. So these C curve leaves are going to be mirroring the other ones so they're going down the stem in pairs dabbing in some paint in the middle of each of those leaves to add a bit more depth. Now I'm washing my brush and I'm going to grab some of the warm green and do another stem using just the tip of my brush but this time I'm putting single brush stroke leaves on this stem instead of the C curve technique. And to change it up even more, I'm doing my leaves, uh, instead of them going down the stem in pairs, they're going down alternating on each side of the stem. And if you heard that, I think the street sweeper might have just gone past. So I'm continuing these leaves, alternating down the stem, dabbing in a little more paint in the middle as I go. So 
So you'll see these two stems look completely different, but they use really sim similar techniques, just I've changed them up a little bit. So now I'm grabbing my blue green, doing another stem, but this time in sort of an S curve rather than a C shape. And I'm putting more single brush stroke leaves on here, but the difference is that I'm not trying to make sure that the end of the leaves have a tip, like a fine point, but instead the end of the leaves is actually kind of curved. So I'm lifting up the brush a bit quicker, which is the opposite of what I was telling you to do before if you wanted to create a really defined point. And now I've got these leaves, these single brush stroke leaves going down the stem in pairs again. So you'll see just by varying things like whether you do a C curve leaf or a single brush stroke leaf, or if you change the green that you're using, or you make sure that the leaf has a really defined point or it has a, a curved end. All these things, they're just slight variations, but they mean that you can create some really different and beautiful looking leaves and stems just by changing up a couple of these fundamental techniques that you've learned. So have fun.